Hey, Wolves fans, it's Brandon Scott, and with me, the one and only Chase Stillman. Now, Chase, there's a lot to unpack here uh, in this extended OHL offseason for you, but let's start with the latest news about getting invited to play for Team Canada at the U18s in Texas this year. Uh, what was your first reaction when you found out the news? Yeah, you know, it was a it was a big relief, honestly. Uh, I got a got a call from Rob, our, our GM, and a couple weeks before the team was released, just kind of saying like, "Hey, um, you know, U eighteen list is coming out. Uh, let's pretty much hope that you're on it." So I was like, "Oh, like that's kind of a tough call to hear, knowing that it's going to come out now, but not for sure being on it." But um, no, I got the call from Alan Miller a couple days before it was released and saying that, you know, you're going to be on the team, and we we got a good group and. You know, anytime you can play for Team Canada, and especially at such a high-level tournament, it's a huge honor. And um, I'm just going to try to play the best of my ability there and do kind of whatever they ask me to do. And how do you prepare coming into a tournament like this where every game matters so much more and playing on a team with many individuals that you haven't met or played with? Yeah, it's it's different. Um, you know, that's always that kind of tournament turnaround that they talk about where as in the regular season, you know, you can kind of take a couple of games to warm up and start to feel comfortable. But um, at these kind of tournaments and especially the, the world championship, it's kind of zero to hundred real quick. So um, I'm in Arizona right now. So I've got the ability to stay in the gym and, and be on the ice until I have to do that self-isolation period that they that they require. So um, I think I'm going to be going in there in the best shape that I've been in, in my whole life so far. So um, just kind of going to do the little things right. And then, kind of gear gear up as fast as I can in practice. So that way, when it comes to the game, I'm already at game speed. Yeah, sounds like you have a good plan ahead of you. And tell me about donning that leaf on your chest. Uh, what's that going to mean to you? Yeah, it, it means everything. Um, you know, as a kid growing up, you, you see about the World Juniors, you know, you, you see the Olympics and the NHLers that used to be able to play in it. So um, playing for Hockey Canada really is everything. Um, you know, getting drafted to the OHL, and playing there is, is the first step. And then when you're able to play for your country, it, it really means the world. Um, now knowing that I'm one of the top 24 players uh, in Canada, my age group, it's just, it really is a huge honor. And um, all those tournaments are a lot of fun. And you get to meet guys that you haven't played with or ones that you didn't like and you play against and they turn out to be great guys. And uh, so I'm just really, really looking forward to it. And it's just such a huge honor to play for Team Canada anytime you get invited. Yeah, and over the past few months, you've been playing in Denmark. Uh, what kind of experience is that for you? Yeah, no, it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, we kind of talked about this earlier, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, the game was the game was fast. It was a little different without carrying the puck, you know, end to end with the Olympic sized ice. So it was a lot of more five foot passes and and those like little skill things that you have to do. So um, you had to get used to skating kind of all the time more often instead of those little bursts of energies. You kind of just gotta you know, skate full speed or just constantly keep your feet moving. And it's, uh, it was a little different. And then the physicality was a little different. Uh, we talked about that. I got, uh, I got kicked out of a few games in the third period for, for running someone over. And I guess, uh, I got called for boarding one time and it was open ice hit. So I didn't really think that made any sense. So I think it might've been just like hitting too hard or something, but it was a little different. Um, I played well there. I had, uh, I had 16 points in eight games. So, you know, that scoring side that kind of transitioned from my last year in junior and um, no, it was, it was really good. And, you know, I played well and I really glad I got to experience that. Yeah. You really made the Sudbury Wolves proud with those numbers, but what kind of adjustments did you make? Not only playing for a new team, but in a new time zone, a new country and in a new continent. Uh, yeah. How bad was that culture shock for you? Yeah, it was different. The first couple of days there. So I got, I think two sleeps before I even practiced with them. Cause I still had to do that kind of isolation thing. Uh, but it was different. So it was, a, I think it was six hours ahead. So I, I was going to bed and I was waking up at like two in the morning and just like wired and, and, uh, not really being able to fall asleep. So I kind of, I adjusted to that and the language barrier was different at the start, more just kind of reading signs and, and at restaurants and stuff, but they actually did a really good job of being bilingual. So most of the time at restaurants, they had the Danish side of it and then they had the English and, um, everybody on my team actually spoke fluent English and same with the coach. So, uh, I had a few good buddies there that kind of took me under their wing and showed me the ropes and, you know, it was a good time. Um, so the language wasn't that tough and the food was a little different, uh, but it was, it was pretty much similar. They had all the other restaurants that are pretty much in, in, uh, North America. Um, it was, it was really fun. I just, I can't, that was such a good, uh, experience. 
It sounds like it was a really smooth transition for you. But I just want to thank you, Chase, for joining me. And best of luck at the U18 tournament. To hear more on Chase and other Sudbury Wolf players, make sure you follow the Wolf Tracks podcast available on Apple Podcasts and, or Spotify, co-hosted by myself and Zach Sortini. Thank you for tuning in.